So it's not the snow cop. Yeah, it's not the snow apocalypse that we expected. We got like barely any snow, but our car is iced. We canceled one service at church today, and I'm trying to get to the second service at 11. But I can't get the kids' doors open. I can't get the back door or the passenger door open in the van. So I've got an idea. Okay, so the first door opened, but I'm gonna use this hair dryer on the back doors. Let's see if that works. Oh, can you go plug it in? Oh, yeah. Back from church, we made it, got the car unstuck, got all the ice off, and everything was perfectly fine. And now I'm heading to the gym. This is day number 11 of the new year at the gym. And the gym reminds me of kind of the topic that I wanna talk about today, about the topic of conflict or tension. Um, but I'll talk to you about that in a minute. I gotta go work out. Well, that was good. It's amazing what a little workout can do for your brain and for your body. Whoo, it snowed, but it is not. It's freezing out here, actually, but I wanted to talk about conflict. I've been reading in this book called A Million Miles in a Thousand Years a few things about conflict and wanted to share with you some of the stuff that I've read. So basically, the book is about how to live a better story, and the author goes into how he was making a documentary or a, a film about his life and had realized that he wasn't living a very good story. And so he goes through a whole bunch of things, but some of the interesting things that he says about story is that a conflict or tension within a story is what makes the story very, very good. I wanted to read a quote, and I'm gonna put it up on the screen, about the book, about story and conflict, and it says, writing a story isn't about making peaceful fantasies come true. The whole point of the story is the character arc. You didn't think joy could change a person, did you? Joy is what you feel when the conflict is over, but it's conflict that changes a person. It's conflict that changes us. It's tension that changes us. It's what makes us grow. I just got back from the gym and I was doing some, some lifting of weights and it's weird because I don't actually lift weights. This is like week number two for me of lifting weights. And the tension and the, the weight on the bar is actually what makes your muscles have to stretch and grow even more. And that's what Donald Miller is talking about in his book whenever he says that tension and conflict is what makes us grow as people, is what makes characters grow and it what makes a good story. And the funny thing is I was talking to my son about this and he was telling me, you know, it's interesting because we live in a society or a culture that doesn't like conflict. And so we do anything we can to avoid conflict. We don't go outside. We don't have those uh, strong relationships. We don't hang out with people. We don't talk about things. We try to avoid topics. But the reality is we're all living in conflict of some measure. And so whenever we think about who we are and how we're growing and what's going on, we need to think about those conflicts and those tensions as points that are going to help us grow. Another quote that I loved from the book says this. It says, I remembered about story about how every conflict, no matter how hard, comes back to bless the protagonist if he will face his fate with courage. Every conflict will bless the protagonist if he will face his fate with courage. 
So I guess my question to you today is, what is the conflict that you're facing? What is the, the tension that's in your life? Are you facing it with courage? Are you looking to be blessed by it? Are you looking to grow from it? That's what's going to make your story worth living. Hope you have a great day. I'm going inside now because it's cold.